Hey guys, Reese and I went out today. We hit up the uh, little bit of flea markets and um, had a Craigslist fun. Flea market didn't go too well, but I did meet up with Mark, who's a reseller, who I'm pretty good friends with, and uh, bought some, a few things off him. So here's what I got off my reseller guy. Um, first thing I want to show off is these. This is just a stack of Atari manuals and stuff. Some cool ones are Pitfall, Star Trek, Burger Time. Gorf, Wizard of War, Atlantis, Dragonfire, Dig Dug, which is one of Reese's favorite games. Not necessarily the Atari one, but Shitty Pac-Man, Berserk, Centipede, Raiders of the Lost Art, Sword Quest, Earthworld, Star Wars Jedi Arena, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. This is a comic book that came with Centipede done by DC. Um, I also got some like catalog things which kind of you know is showing off certain uh, Atari games which I thought was pretty cool and here's one from iMagic here's another one for Atari stars this is actually a, a huge poster and this is a owner's manual for an Atari 7800 here's one for 2600 and there's more I got a stack of them just to have uh, I'm not big into Atari but I do like manuals considering how easily they can get messed up and ruined over time. It's good to get them, save them to where they're going to be taken care of. So eventually I'll probably leak this down through people who are Atari fans and would rather have Atari stuff. Probably trade them for like manuals for NES games or something. So there's that. Um, the other thing I bought is I bought a bunch of empty cases. I basically did like five bucks a piece on cases. Um, He's a reseller, so he's got to make his money, and I actually do support that market. Um, just because they're one of the few people, and yes, they are sometimes price gouging, but if you get cool with them, and if it's not people on eBay, but people that have their own shop, they do have to make a profit now, and they are keeping this alive. So, yes, always find deals. That's awesome. But support your, your local shops if you can. So I did, and I got Streets of Rage. For Sega with the manual. Streets of Rage 2, uh, which is my favorite Sega Genesis game and favorite beat'em up game of all time. Fucking amazing soundtrack. Um, actually, the girlfriend bought me these three empty cases for a dollar. Um, I'll probably pick up some more just because three, four bucks, not bad. Mm -hmm. Then for NES game cases, I got Cobra Triangle, um, no manual. Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, no manual. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, this that one actually did have that manual for. These next ones are really faded and washed out, but I still got them just because the the sides still look good, the back still look good, it's just the front. He rescued them from flea markets, and that's basically what happens when they sit at a flea market for too long. So Super C, Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, and Mega Man 4. So. Mega Man 4 is not too bad. Um, the next thing I picked up is this. This was a Craigslist pickup. I paid $40 for everything you see here. So not too bad for this many games and he had a few surprises I didn't know about from what he listed. For some of the games in box, for the most part I think only one is missing a manual. Two actually. This one which is pretty sweet because it's a black box game. I love me some black box games. I have a few up there. Hopefully uh, this will be me getting more. Tetris Complete. Millipede Complete. Jeopardy Complete. Commando Complete. Elevator Action which does not have the manual which makes me really sad because it's made by Taito and I love me some Elevator Action. And Will of Fortune. These are pretty decent. So, I also picked up four controllers, a power cord that actually works for NES, SNES, and Genesis. Uh, the four controllers and an adapter that you can extend to make your control longer. So, some of the games we picked up are all in here. Um, I guess some noticeable ones. You got Ghosts and Goblins, Kung Fu... Dodgeball, which I haven't, I didn't have, so I was really excited to get this. You got Marble Madness. 
uh, Double Dragon 1, Double Dragon 2, The Karate Kid. You've got Wild Gunman, which is pretty good. Uh, Tengen RBI 3 Baseball. Donkey Kong Classics. Ninja Gaiden 1. Top Gun, Blades of Steel. We have some uh, Track and Field 2. Over here, um, Empire Strikes Back, which I was pretty excited to get. Bible Adventures. I think this makes like my third Black Bible Adventures game. Super Mario Bros. 3, because I mean, what Craigslist pickup is not complete with Super Mario. <laughs> Hook, which is made by Sony, so it's pretty fun. <laughs> Don't need to say anything about that. Tiny Toons, Legend of Zelda. This is, of course, from the reissue one, the uh, classic series, Great Tits kind of thing. Mega Man 6, which I did not know was in there. So that's pretty sweet that it was in there. We have some Tingen Gauntlet. Uh, Jaws, which is a pretty bad game, but this was like my favorite game growing up. So pretty excited. Like I said, 40 bucks for all of this. So pretty good pickup comparatively to some of my other ones. So a lot of games added. And um, also, on other good news, coming up soon we will be doing the recording of our first episode for our talk show. We did. We had a meeting the other day, the other night, ate some pizza, drank a little bit, talked about it. We got an outline of how we want to do it and everything, so hopefully coming soon. We'll probably have it up, hopefully by the end of February, maybe sooner if we can. So... These are what I picked up today. Uh, always a good day when I, when uh, Reese and I go out and spend the day together, mm -hmm. hopping finds. Um, though I will say this: if you're on Craigslist and you're making a deal with someone, pay attention to what the fuck they say, <laughs> so you don't have to deal what I had to deal with with me telling him I was gonna be at a certain place at a certain time, and then him completely apparently fucking forgetting about it. But, oh fucking well. Still went good. Pretty excited about most of these games. We're going to start the long process of cleaning them up now. But, uh, hey. here's the fucking games. And, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Reese, grab it. <laughs> I also picked up a, uh, toy. <laughs> this is Space Godzilla. I'm, I believe it says... Uh, I can't tell because I've been looking into this light right here. <laughs> and now there's a bright ball and I can't see anything. What what year does that say? Uh, 2005. 2005. So, a little Space Godzilla toy from 2005. Uh, I love Godzilla. So, he's going to join all my other Godzilla figures. Paid five bucks for him because if you work at a flea market, you have a booth there. If you're gonna have other fucking people watch your shit while you're not there, have fucking prices. They probably would have sold this to me for fucking two dollars had they been there, but they weren't there and they didn't leave a price on it. So the people didn't want to sell it to me because they were worried that they were gonna undersell it. So instead of paying like a dollar or two dollars like I should have, I paid five fucking dollars for this. And I'm fine with it because I love Godzilla. <laughs> but seriously. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Have some fucking etiquette for a flea market. It's fucking horrible. Anyway, so that's it. Also, hopefully soon we'll have the light issue fixed so it won't be so fucking dark when I record videos. Other than that, uh, hopefully my trade goes well with uh, Billy from Game Chasers. Yeah, so this is it. Peace.